other one, drying the front line of animal removal. And I'm going to show you some more flying squirrel stains. It's something to look for when you're looking around your house to figure out why you're hearing noise at night but not in the daytime. So I'm sitting on a roof up under a soffit. That's a flying squirrel stain. And they go to the bathroom here and it drips and it lands here. And it'll drip on down further. Here we got more. So this is the J channel, which covers up the top edge of the siding. Here we have stains coming through the little perforations. Here's some more stains, but these are much more noticeable. So they're peeing right here. And it seeps down and then drips down the siding. And you can tell this has been going on for a while. All right, here we got more. So if you don't really notice anything obvious on the soffit, look right at that, right at the, uh, the J channel, right where the soffit meets it. Usually it's pretty dirty. So right here we have some, some, some nice uh, flying squirrel stain. So this is the number one area that I look for. It's right where the soffit meets the side. And you see those dark coffee colored stains. That is classic flying squirrel toileting. So that's something that I'm look, I look for when I'm doing these searches. Thank you. And I'm going to show you another successful outcome of flying squirrel trapping. Look at all these little fuzzballs. Let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I think there's nine in there. Nine little cute fuzzballs. They came out of that gap right there into the trap. And I'm glad this worked out. Thank you.